Well, look at here. These towels seem to have mutated and grown. That's what happens here at Laundry Room Studios. Towels never get done, apparently. Anyway, thank you for checking out another video here at Laundry Room Studios where we talk about guitars, gear, amplifiers, and anything guitar. Please like and subscribe to the channel. You'll be notified when there are new videos that are posted, and I'm working on uh, posting once to uh, three times a week, so you'll get notified when these new videos go up. And uh, what new songs I'm working on that I want to share with everybody. So today is a departure from talking about songs and guitars in a direct way. This is kind of a little bit indirect, talking about online purchasing and how this is such a new way of shopping. As you see up here, we have some, I'm a weather person here, not even be able to read the map. Um, you see a whole selection of, uh, of boxes here. Here's another one with a couple more boxes in here. And then we have cases and boxes over here. And then we have our wall of guitars. Uh, we have some Dreamboat guitars, which you cannot even buy anymore. They have been uh, probably 10 to 13 years past their last production. We have Firefly guitars. We have Eastman, uh, more Dreambow, I'm a big fan. IYV guitars, Epiphone, Firefly. Uh, we have some uh, Grote guitars down here. And along with some other gear uh, in its own messy way. Uh, we have a Fender Mustang amp, uh, a Katana 50 uh, amp and a Vault uh, amp Fury 15, which is a monster guitar uh, amplifier. It's so loud uh, for such a tiny little, little amplifier. Anyway, so this is a little bit of a, a departure on what we have been talking about in regards to guitars and how they play and, and all that. So buying guitars online is really kind of a new phenomenon. Uh, used to be in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2000, up to May 2010, 15, it was you go to a store or a pawn shop and you buy a guitar uh, from the, those venues. You have to go there. And a lot of the mentality is, hey, you can't just go and buy a guitar. You have to go and play it and make sure that it's right. Um, and because... That thought process was based on you are spending hundreds of dollars on a guitar. And then at that point, you don't want to waste your money because you re it was hard as hell to probably return something if you bought it and you didn't like it. And so everybody has that thought process. Even now, you have to sit down and play a guitar before you make that decision if you want to buy it. And with the... The popularity of Amazon, uh, AliExpress, and uh, eBay, it is now possible to go and buy guitars strictly just online. You don't even have to uh, touch the guitar or anything. You're basing your decision based on uh, other people's reviews. You are basing it on um, maybe a Facebook book uh, group that is talking about those brand of guitars and what other people have experienced already with different models and different style of guitars for, from that manufacturer. And so you're taking a leap of faith. And But there's still a lot of people that are really hesitant. They just are like, I can't do it. I can't go and uh, just make a purchase online without actually sitting down and playing the guitar. But I think, again, the primary venue for a lot of those uh, thoughts are based on that old mentality that you have to sit and, and play it and not understanding that the cost of a guitar, especially if you have one of these, uh, you know, Chinese import guitars, is uh, really it's a, a thought process of uh, I don't want to go and buy that guitar because the the quality maybe isn't there. Well, I can tell you, having purchased guitars online for a couple years now, that 
the the quality is absolutely there. Uh, the Eastman, which has kind of been the, and that's that brown one right next to the green. Um, you know, there's always been kind of a, a big hesitation, even though that's a name brand, uh, but it's made in China. And people are like, oh, it's not, you know, it's not that good. That is an amazing guitar. I've been playing way too long, and I can tell you what is a good and bad guitar. But for the fact of the matter is, um, the machinery, the craftsmanship at these factories is amazing. And the fact of the matter is, is that it is so good that the name brand manufacturers are over there now and have been for a long time uh, building guitars. Uh, a lot of their kind of B stock or mass produced guitars are being made over there. And so there shouldn't be a hesitation of like, I don't know if I want to buy a Chinese guitar because it's, you know, it's, you know, yeah, you're going to probably deal with a, does it hold the value that you paid? But the hold the value of the maybe two, $300 that you're spending on it. And some of them are hundred dollars, $150, uh, sub 200 easily. A lot of these guitars are. And, uh, and if you want something that's a little bit better, a little bit more uh, features and quality, then you maybe pay another 50 or $70 and then you got it. So um, there, I, I would tell anybody that has a hesitation of like, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to spend that money. If you buy those through Amazon, you read through the details there and you make sure that they have free returns without a restocking fee. And that is going to be your Groat, your IYV, uh, your Fireflies, if they ever come back online, because they're mostly, mostly doing their own website stuff, um, which makes that, you know, not a, a solution that you can go and do, uh, because they, they do have a restocking fee on their own website if you return something. But these other guitars, take a chance. It is absolutely worth it. I have just purchased in the last in the last week or so this iyv guitar and this uh transparent black with amazing construction and this is going to be a daily player for me it is so good and if i would have had any of these guitars that i have on the wall right here when i was growing up i would have been very inspired to play I would have become a, a different player than I ended up being because I had guitars that I didn't have to fight uh, to fight to play. So there's a lot of really good things out there. I want to hear from you, though. Tell me, what have you had hesitation on ordering a guitar online? Um, you know, what was your experience? Did you uh, end up getting that guitar? Was it a good experience? Or did you have something that maybe uh, was broken in uh, in the mailing of it and then you had to go and try to deal with returns or whatnot? And those, I've not ever had the unfortunate experience of having. Um, but I certainly um, would feel for you if you had that. Um, but if you get through Amazon, you probably have a pretty good chance of making sure that you get another one. Um, I've had lots of experience with Amazon. Um, I have not ordered through eBay, but there is a couple of guitars that I'm looking at doing that with. Um, AliExpress uh, as well. I have not any, I don't have any experience ordering those uh, to find out what that's going to be like. Uh, but Amazon is, is where it's at for me. So tell me what you think. How has your experience been? Uh, what are you thinking about buying and uh, once you got it, what did you think about that? Did you feel it was worth it? So post in the comments and I will talk to you soon. Bye.